dummy. Puppet of some kind. I'm Baylock. Welcome aboard. This is Hector Canales bringing you another retro Star Trek unboxing review of Captain James Kirk with Balak and Balak's puppet from the episode The Corbomite Maneuver. And to tell us a little bit about that episode, here is William Shatner. Confronting the unknown and facing their fears are themes of the Corbomite Maneuver. This is one of several episodes in which the human race is tested by creatures of superior intelligence. As you might guess, we pass, and with flying colors, but how we pass and why is the subject of the Corbomite Maneuver. So here's the 1998. It's listed as a two-pack, but as you can see, it's got three characters in there. Now this is supposed to be just a puppet, but I see that Balok, or Balak, depending on who is saying the name, has no articulation. Would you even consider him a figure if he has no articulation? More of a PVC statue? So we're going to see if the puppet has any articulation. But right now, we're going to check out the packaging and all the art. Check out the Enterprise. This is real beautiful. Playmates was doing such a great job. This is called the alien series and as you can see it says collectors series edition and it's individually numbered now let's check out the top it has the same info as the front now the bottom has a little more info the same info same info and now taking a look at the back of the box this is really nice it's not too busy so it's not hard on the eyes. And something I really love is the way they show the display, quote unquote, environment. All you need to do is get yourself a Dr. McCoy and a Bailey. Unfortunately, they never made Bailey. And I'll leave this on here for you to read on your own since it's pretty long. But let's take a look at the other two packs in this series. You know what? This is the best of all four. Because who really wants Whoopi Goldberg? For further information, contact Starfleet Headquarters, Strategy Tactics Division. That is taking that little extra mile to make Star Trek real, not just to the fans, but the casual viewer. This is letting people know that they're serious about this. And taking a look at this, they took making the figures serious. And taking that extra mile effort really makes me appreciate this even more. I already own two Lose Captain Kirks and the Kirk inside the box seems to be the same Captain Kirk that came in the seven figure gift set that I already reviewed on this channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. The only difference between these two Kirks is he has a painted on brown sash so that's i guess a fair reason to unbox them plus you can never have too many captain kirks now the only question is what side do i unbox it from And it comes with a stand. It was actually on a stand. That's pretty cool. And here they are out of the package. Let's smell them. And I'll be honest, it is a bit odd because I think they smell like perfume. At least his head does. It smells very flowery they don't smell like brand new toys they smell like shore leave let's start off by taking a look at the figures that i previously did not own unboxed like the puppet we'll talk about that later the puppet is just a big hunk of plastic 
there is no articulation just a painted head and a little chip here he does have a little peg hole underneath to fit on the stand but honestly he has no trouble standing on his own next Baloch, Baloch has no articulation whatsoever. And what's sad is he can't even sit down. And that's how he's mostly seen in the episode. But I do love that look. It looks like baby Clint Howard. It looks very, very good and just like him. But let's look over the figure a little more while Clint Howard tells us some stories from filming that episode. I played a character called Commander Baylock, and I was six or seven years old. I think I may have just turned seven when we shot the episode. Now, they had told me they were not gonna dub my voice. Now, whether that was just a ploy to, to get me to do it as good as I could do it, but the plan was, the plan that they had told me back then was that they were gonna put my voice through a synthesizer, and that's how they were going to have Baylock's voice. Um, which may have been the plan. They may have tried it, and it, it may not have worked. Now, what Tranya actually was, was pink grapefruit juice. Now, st to this day, I'm not a fan of pink grapefruit juice. And when I was seven years old, it was one of those things, it was like green beans, made me gag. And I was a wise enough, you know, actor. I knew that they could put anything in that glass to toast. I went to my dad and I said, Dad, you know, do you think we might be able to make some sort of adjustment here? And dad goes, no, no, you're an actor and it's your job to make this work. And it, you're not, trust me, son, you're not going to throw up. It's good. My dad tasted it and goes, no, it's good pink grapefruit juice and go ahead and drink it. So if you notice in the episode, you know, I'll, I take the big slug and I'm really like, <clears throat> I hope you relish it as much as I. This is Tranya. I hope you relish it as much as I. Commander Balak. I know, I know. A thousand questions. But first, the Tranya. Gentlemen. It wasn't my favorite thing, and yet to this day, I'll be out somewhere, and some Star Trek fan will go, Hey, Clint, how about some Tranya? And Clint Howard does need that peg hole for the stand because he doesn't stand very good. And last, but certainly not least, Captain James T. Kirk. Now, he's got a lot of articulation. Head. Shoulder, G.I. Joe swivel arm, the bicep, elbow, waist, hip, knee for a combined 12 points of articulation. And just look at him. It's that detail of that sash where he's supposed to be holding that phaser does not go all the way around. This Captain Kirk was released in 96, this one in 98. There are very small differences between them. The badges, this seems to have darker gold. This one seems to have a lighter type of gold. The bigger changes are, of course, the sash and the lip color. Otherwise, it's basically the same figure now one thing that i really did like about having an extra kirk is that i've been using this kirk so much the rankings around his sleeve have been coming off a bit because i've been touching it and a lot of time the gold paint just comes off just by touching it but i've noticed that i never touched this one before and the gold is already starting to come off Here's a cool thing I could do with my toys. I can make it look like Captain Kirk is looking at himself in a broken mirror, but really he's not. Hello, handsome. And now taking a look at the display environment. Again, this is removable. And inside it actually has a little scissor here telling you, you gotta cut along the white line. 
So after you cut along the white line, you take that cardboard piece and you slide it into the stand. And it's cool, it's, it's okay, but I honestly don't like it. I like the way it looks like this. I'd rather just put the stand back inside and put all the figures on the pegs. It honestly looks a lot better that way because you've got sides. You don't have to worry about your hands shaking while you're cutting the cardboard like mine do. I'm going to keep mine this way because it just displays a lot better. On my final analysis, this is a wonderful set. The display diorama, as cheapy as it can be, is actually very nice and goes along with the figures perfectly. Although I wish they would have given us a Bailey instead of a Captain Kirk. I am saying that because I do own two other Captain Kirks and whoever would have bought this might have missed out on the first TOS Captain Kirk. Being that it was the first episode that ever aired of Star Trek. It's a very nice homage to the episode, especially adding in the puppet. You could have added on other stuff, maybe a Bailey, but the puppet is memorable. Baylock is memorable. And Captain Kirk, well, he's the captain. Thanks for joining me on this retro Star Trek unboxing review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my other retro Star Trek unboxing reviews.